In the 1970s, UK Kids TV was filled with excellent as they were cartoon series and action serials. But there wasn't much in the way of drama. Not very many shows that parents and children could discuss the issues of the day. Kids couldn't discuss what was happening to them in their daily lives through TV and they didn't have a way to relate to other children with issues of similar kind that they were all going through. Phil Redmond decided to change all that and in 1977 we saw the first episode broadcast of Grange Hill. It was absolutely legendary and enabled a lot of people, children, teachers, parents to all engage on those issues whether it be bullying, whether it be dealing with conditions such as dyslexia, being at a new school, Dealing with meeting children with other beliefs, faiths, religions, skin colours, all of this and much more was dealt with as long as well as um, the relationships not just between the pupils but we also went into the staff rooms, met teachers and got to understand and appreciate issues that they were dealing with through the job of teaching children in an ever-changing world, as well as their personal relationships. Well, in today's video, we're looking at the DVD release of the first two series that were broadcast consecutively in 1977 and 78, and the DVD release, which came out in 2007. The DVD box set is five discs, it has all 27 episodes and a quiz to test you on your gradual knowledge. Uh, the picture quality, considering the age of the material, I think is really fantastic. The sound is great, obviously it's mono soundtrack for the time. Um, and I instantly identified with the characters, especially the likes of the legendary Tucker Jenkins, Todd Carty, his friends Alan and Benny, and straight away, you know, even from the first scene, uh, Grange Hill was breaking the ground. Um, Benny was in the very first scene playing football, and he was the first kid, um, non-white kid, to be on British kids TV in such a major way. So from that very first scene, Grange Hill was breaking new ground straight away. And even though I was at the only age of four when the series started, I instantly identified with their struggles and battles because I myself uh, had to go through extra hurdles, shall we say, when starting school through disability. And like many children, I identified with these kids jumping through all these new challenges and also forging friendships um, so solidly. I mean, Tucker and his mates, they were always making money schemes to get rich, to get one up on the teachers. Tucker's main foe was one of the early teachers, Mr. Mitchell, who I had um, a very strong liking for, even at um, a young age. He was very firm but fair, he was kind, uh, it was a good natured sense of humour to him, um, but equally when the kids needed a firm hand, um, Mr Mitchell definitely had that in spades. You get to see that in some of the later episodes when they go on a field trip that goes wrong um, during season two and some of the children are in danger. You get to see that uh, quite uh, quite definitely that Mr. Mitchell won't uh, take any nonsense, as indeed don't many of the teachers. Their patience is uh, tested throughout. Some of the students um, form the Students Action Group against things such as 
school uniform which you can expect uh, causes problems for both teachers, pupils and parents. Uh, they've all got their own opinions, all divided. And um, it's one of the major issues that is dealt with in the series. The series is quite raw, pulls no punches. Um, but equally, there's a lot of comedy. There's a lot of sadness, pathos. Um, particularly when children are being bullied. Um, there are quite a few bullies in the, in the, the show's history. One of the early ones is uh, Gripper Stepson which quite a few people remember. Um, and the way bullies are dealt with, why they get their comeuppance, why their friends react towards them, and the children that be affected at home, how the teachers and headmistresses and headmasters, how they all deal with these things, very, very closely looked at. Um, there isn't many issues during the years of Grange Hill that... Um, it shies away from and I'd say these two series in particular being that it was new it was surging through new ground in so many ways it didn't pull any punches whatsoever but at the same time it never went too far with the issues uh, never stepped over the line it was always in a way that families could still watch the show um, and children could be comfortable and identify with the characters. I'll just give you a quick look at the discs with a little bit of music and also show you you get an inlet um inside leaflet of information and that gives you um all the storyline synopsis for all the episodes. So I will show you the disc, we'll show you the leaflet and uh, then I'll sum up on this wonderful series, um, Grange Hill, the first two series up. So here's the discs and the inside leaflets. Overall, this is a great box set. Um, a really great celebration of the start of a series that would run for 28 years. And we can fur further enjoy Grange Hill because there were more DVD releases um, running from Series 3 through to Season 6. Although, unfortunately, my favourite series, which for me was the absolute peak of the show, uh, memory and cast wise 1986 hasn't been released yet but considering that S series 5 and 6 only got released last year well hopefully we won't have to wait too long for that so that's my review of Grange Hill series 1 and 2 5 disc DVD box set hope you enjoyed that if you enjoy the content that I do here and you'd like to watch other similar videos Coming up in a minute, I'm going to show you a screen grab of a fellow DVD reviewer called the DVD and Blu-ray Collector. It's a brilliant channel. He um, picks DVDs up from all kinds of places, uh, all kinds of stores, and you get to see all his DVD hunts and Blu-ray hunts. Um, I'll put the link to his channel in the description, DVD and Blu-ray Collector, and... Uh, Here's a screen grab of his channel for you and I uh, hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you again next time.